name is Lim, and um, I'm going to present about Libya and their crisis after the fall of Gaddafi. Our main topic would be how can the international community solve the humanitarian crisis in Libya? So the Libya is right here in between Algeria and Egypt. It's located in the northern Africa. Um, Muammar Gaddafi has been in the charge of the power since 1969. However, in 2011, um, their citizens affected by the Arab Spring, they revolted against his power and with the intervention of NATO, um, Gaddafi was captured and killed, which resulted in a lack of central power. So, from 2014, there has been three authorities of wars after that, and it has resulted in civil war, which uh, brought in a humanitarian crisis and economic failure in the, Libya. So some of the human rights issues are violated, or many, but um, these include um, the war crimes committed by the governments, well not governments, but the authorities, the three authorities in Libya, um, they have killed their citizens in this territory. Um, their armed groups, like militias and like ISIS, they are not controlled by the government just killing people because there is no central power. And the migrants, refugees, they are constant, constantly um, violated when like, um, they're exploited and then they have been sexually assaulted. Um, the civilians generally lack of the lack of access to their basic needs like water and food. Um, the freedom of speech is not non-existent because the journalists and like, TV stations are like, all, all like, they're killed or devastated. Um, the women's rights are also violated. Militias constantly threat them. And ju judicial system is also broken because judges and lawyers have been killed. This also, alongside with the economic um, destruction, comes with together. Their main source of the, um, the money income is oil production. But after the Gaddafi fell, um, this all the powers like fighting for the money or the power that. They destroyed the um, the oil supply in the way, and like the other militias have destroyed and blockaded the supply chain. So the um, supply of the oil production has been fell down ever since, and it's not been up um, as much as it was before, which um, which results in a trade deficit. And because they import food a lot, the government has been trying to fund their imports with using uh, public spending and the foreign. Reserves. However, this is like doesn't contribute to their economy at all because um, because they're not recognized government. They cannot put taxes on their people, which does not provide provide them any source of income as a government. Um, another thing is that the people in the Libya do have property rights, but because their militias and other armed forces intervene, like interfere with them and then take over their houses and businesses. So it gives them basically like no incentives whatsoever to start their business and contribute to the economy. So these are all resulted by political instability, and this is caused by three different authorities, like we, I was talking about before. One is General National Congress, who, get, who was given the charge of the power after the National Transitional Council when the Gaddafi fell. Um, there are also House of Representatives um, in 2014. They were um, announced as a new parliament, but GNC um, did refused to disband. And in 2016, UN actually recognized the government called Government of National Court, but these two um, authorities refused to recognize them as a government. And as we know, if the government is not recognized inside and outside of the court, um, they are not recognized as a real power and sovereign state. There are some other forces involved in the, um, the power fighting because there's no central power. There's like ISIS and Al Qaeda trying to fight over um, the, like, the money sources and the power itself, which um, the other regional actors like um, surrounding countries like Egypt and United Arab Emirates, they're trying to like help them um, overcome fighting ISIS and like their political instability by providing weapons and cooperating with UN. To solve this problem in the short term, uh, we suggest using the like, UN and like other surrounding countries. They provide like um, a um, like, peacekeeping operation at the um, Libya. 
so what they could do is providing like food and the troops to secure um, the citizens and provide the means of like um, security and the food that they need. Um, which, because our intent is providing humanitarian aid and practice responsibility to protect, our intent is ethical. However, in a sense, we are intervening with the um, sovereignty of the states. So it could be unethical, but since they are not recognized states, and we are trying to help them out, it is ethical in another sense if you look at it. Um, in the end, our solution will result in less civilian deaths and it will increase the access to the basic necessities of the citizens, which is also ethical. As a long-term solution, we also suggest um, well, establish a government representative. Like um, we can use UN forces to all the, you know, to use these all three representatives of the authority to be elected in a parliament government. So the uh, people will have their sense of um, self determination. So our intent is to build a one centralized government, and also means will give the self determination for the people, which is both ethical and in the end because there will be one centralized government with individual parties. Um, our outcome will be also ethical as well. Another solution could be the like UN, because UN recognized the GNA, they could provide their forces to back up the GNA and then um, supervise them to provide security over the people, which will legitimize them because the, uh, the citizens will um, support them. And then with increased power, they can force other factions to comply, which is not ethical because for the intent is to like build order, so that is ethical, but the means and outcome, we're consolidating power in one faction to increase um, their power and then give, like we're using the forces. So our, both of the means and outcome will be not ethical because it will result in like, more deaths of the people, including both of um, military factions and like other civilians as well. So in short, um, the Libya has a problem because the Gaddafi, Gaddafi's power fell, and the which resulted in human rights violations and economic disaster caused by political instability. We think this could be solved by using um, temporary relief protection and politically stabilizing Libya in the long term. These are our references. And do you have any questions? Do you think the people will willingly accept um, the aid, like the people who are suffering? Um, well, I guess that's a good question, but they have no basic necessities that they can use anyways. So I think if you provide them, I think they'll accept them, um, like even if they don't like it or like it. Mm -hmm. But I guess that's always a question. Yep. They don't want to be 